Welcome to Fallout 76. This is Jim. So as most of you know by now, I have started a new character for the very first time in this game. And I decided to do that is because I've been getting some comments lately from some newer folk who's been asking about certain quest lines in the game. Now, it's been a long time since I've done these quest lines. A very long time. Like, I think I did a lot of them before Wastelanders and before there were any human beings <laughs> in the game. And it was pretty rough back in the day. A lot better now, of course. Uh, so I decided to start a new character so I can kind of go through these quest lines and maybe help some people out. And uh, kind of, you know, refresh myself as well. You know, see what new players these days have to uh, go through as compared to back in the day. Uh, uh, I did start the uh, game out of the vault at level 20. You do have that option now. And that's pretty awesome. And I have learned a lot the last couple of days is uh, you, if you buy something in the atomic shop over your years or you have been rewarded things, you get to carry that stuff with you over. Uh, Fallout first carries over with you as well. So that's pretty awesome. It's good to know. Um, another good thing is you get uh, this little backpack here. It's the small vault survival backpack. It's a like plus 15 carry weight, and that's right out of the vault. I also got a combat rifle and 10 millimeter pistol right out of the vault as well, and as well as leather armor, which is pretty cool. Uh, now, I know, do want to give another shout out to Oxy YTB, who came to my camp just yesterday, and I made it at the end of my daily challenge video that I usually do every day for July 19th, 2024. I gave them a huge shout out. They decorated my camp and they made this fixer for me, which is pretty awesome. So we're going to take a look here. Uh, it's called New Arrivals. Talk to the Overseer. And of course, the Overseer's home is right here in uh, Sutton. <laughs> and as you can see, I got like, <laughs> I got nothing on the map, nothing. <laughs> And uh, my camp is right over here uh, near Flatwoods, on, uh, just on that overpass there. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, see what the Overseer has to say. Now, I've been playing this game since uh, the very beginning. And for those of you who've also been playing this game since the beginning, like I'm talking like before Wastelanders, before there are any human beings in the game like there's just robots and yourself and it was rough like it was rough man <laughs> uh the game has changed a lot since then i'm sure we can all agree on that and um definitely there are huge changes all right let's go ahead let's go inside here okay now, i'm not too sure how long this is going to be but uh, we'll talk to her here, see what she has to say. Oh, thank God you're here. I almost... <laughs> it's just so good to see you. Cheapers. Let's talk downstairs. Cozy as okay. this place is, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Much of that. We really went overboard with this place. Feel free to look around. Nice little teapot up there. That's pretty cool. Daily weekly challenges. Good old Davenport down here. Let me introduce you to Davenport. He's yep. been helping me with some reconnaissance. Keeping an eye on Appalachia. Oh, so good to meet you. The Overseer has been so excited to see everyone again. Once you've acquainted yourself with our new arrivals, I may have some field work for you. I couldn't have pulled this place off without him. Let's talk. Overseer's basement key added. Nice. Okay, that's good. Uh, so just an FYI, uh, the new Arrivals quest here, um, you have to be at least level 20 to get this new Arrivals quest. So if you start off out of the vault 
at level zero or level one or level two, whatever it is, um, you will not get the new arrivals quest until you reach level 20. So of course, as I mentioned, I chose the option for level 20 right out of the gate. And this one here popped up for the, you know, as soon as I came out of the vault. So just an FYI. And what you have to do in order to activate this is you actually go down to your radio section down here. And there'll be uh, a message from the overseer that you have to select on. Now, mine's gone here now, but that's how you would get new arrivals uh, to start. Okay, so just an FYI. It's good to see you, but we need to focus on the inoculation. Is it done? <laughs> the inoculation, eh? Well, I did it a long time ago, lady, but... Uh... You didn't find my tapes? This disease has turned people into something else. You'll see them. The burned skin, the glowing lesions. There's a vaccine the responders were working on at AVR Medical. You need to finish the research and get inoculated. Hurry back once you're done. We've got plenty to do. All right. There we go. To complete a talk that so complete an ounce of prevention. Let's go ahead and track that. There we go. All right. So let's, um, of course, we can't do anything for Davenport until we get the Pro Snap Deluxe camera. Uh, but that's uh, a little bit later on in the game. Nothing we can really interact with there. All right, let's go ahead. So uh, she gives you the key to this basement. So now you can activate, go in that basement at any time now. So that's pretty awesome. Let's head outside here. Now, just uh, keep in mind, it's been a very long time since I've done these quests, like a very long time. Like, I know where the majority of things are at in the game, of course, but yeah. Um, let's take a look here. Get that out of there. That's the wayward. Oh, right down here. Study Dr. Hudson's research right down here. So, of course, we can't fast travel down there because uh, it's going to take a little bit to get down there. But at least we uh, have a direction to go. So let's go ahead. We'll put a uh, tracker down here just to kind of keep us in the right. You know, we can track it by our compass down below. All right. So, of course, Sutton... That is the town of Sutton. Uh, that blue house there, that is the Overseer's uh, childhood home, in case you guys uh, didn't know. So we're going to go ahead. We're not going to bother with Sutton right off. We're just going to head this way. We may come across the odd scorch or two, but that's fine. I feel pretty confident with this fixer here. So this is what I plan on doing, is just doing these quests. There we go. Ounce of prevention. Study Dr. Hudson's research. Okay. Funny how that just popped up now. With a miscellaneous. Not going to bother with that. What's this uh, diamond popping up here? Read the nightclub advertisement. That's okay. Let's go ahead. We will uh, toggle that off so we don't get confused. That probably has something to do with the uh, the rose room. Take a little shortcut here. Sutton Station discovered. Sweet. Quite a bit of food on us there. We've got a, quite a bit of stuff, actually. So I feel pretty good about what we're doing. Let's just kind of go along and enjoy. Who's this cat down here? S smiling man. Oh, we haven't seen him in a while. I've not seen this cat for a long while. How I wonder what you are. Let's 
What's going on, buds? Salutations. Do not be afraid. I do hope I have found you well. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice jacket. I am cold. You may call me Indrid. What are you called? <laughs> Speed strangers. <laughs> yes, make up a the name. The devil lies in the details. Or so I have heard. I have yet to meet a devil. A rare occurrence, it would seem. Once in a blue moon, the locals say. Not from you. For you. I want only happiness for you. I have been away a long time. It appears that much has changed during my absence. I have such sights to see. Perhaps you can recommend a local peculiarity. What? Yeah. Go after the Mothman there, buds. An enlightened idea. I shall do just that. You have my thanks for your Looks like time. you'll fit right in with them. <laughs> Before I forget, I must go. I do hope to see you again. Yeah. Smell you later. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> well, this is a lot different for me, as most of you know. I uh, used a big uh, fast traveler. I chose the VATS option. I think you had a shotgun option, a commando option, some other. Uh, there's, I think there's about four or five options altogether out of the vault if you choose uh, to start off at level 20. Nice. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, this is a huge change for me. A little bit out of my uh, element, so to speak, as most of you know. See if we can grab these five by six. There we go. Grab that stuff too. Machine gun turrets, robots are always good stuff to have. tell you something I uh, before uh, you know making this new character you know you just become accustomed to being you know high level you have everything at your fingertips you literally have zero worries <laughs> in the game there's like a frog there doesn't it <laughs> and um, but I'm telling you like the last couple of days as I get it it's been fooling around with this uh, new character and I'll, it's like new, whole, a whole new respect <laughs> a whole new respect for what's going on here and what new folks have to go through you know you don't have a jetpack you know you don't have any you know mutations you know it's, it's as high as you could jump <laughs> stuff like that so uh, yeah it's it's interesting so of course, this is uh, New uh, New River Gorge Bridge, and here's a skeleton with all the soap bars in it. That's pretty cool, right here. And you, everyone knows about that. There's like they're just flying out of the air there. That's weird. Yeah. Bring you guys there for my daily, weekly challenges. Of course, when we scrap soap, we get oil. Yeah, I love it. Love this. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh my lord, are you kidding me? We get oh my lord, I'm stuck to get something. Oh, oh. I'm not stuck against something here. Oh my lord. There we go. Yeah, I need to fix that. Need to fix that as soon as possible. Ha! How you 
That's a good shot. game be like those guys would be dead and exploding <laughs> far flung fireworks and everything nope nope not this gameplay Jim you got a lot to learn buds you guys are probably just loving this <laughs> little copper yeah copper deposit nice of course we will come across estranged enemies like that in our way to Charleston. There are usually a few enemies that are down there, like mongrels or liberators, usually. Oh, look at this. Pipe is life, baby. What are, what are the odds that come across this? I haven't seen this thing in years. I didn't even know this was even a thing anymore. Pipe is life, yeah. Gosh. It's been a long time since I've seen this. <clears throat> Unusual pipe of snake. <laughs> Give it a bit of whiff there. Holy. <laughs> of course, as we know, uh, this pipe is like a random, almost like a random encounter. You can find it everywhere around the wasteland. I find it, uh, the most times that I've found it is way up north. Like in this area up here. I uh, I haven't really found it here before. Interesting. Uh, let's see. I don't think we get any stats or effects off of it. No, nope, don't. Didn't think so. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen that sucker. What are the odds? Start a new game. Come across that thing. <laughs> Doesn't do anything to you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank God for this fixer. <laughs> Let's grab this uh, dog meat so we can cook her up. So I think my other meat is uh, going to spoil here soon, I think. It's always good... Uh, you know, to kind of think ahead when you're doing this game because it is kind of, it's not a full-on survival. I've played full-on survivals like Ark in the past and uh, it's it's pretty rough to play that sucker every day, but this one here is like, you know, not a full, full-blown one, but still has its times where things spoil and There used to be robots around here back in the day. I don't usually tra walk around and travel like this anymore. Oh, it's scorched here today. Oh, we get Buddy going after that little chicken. Let's get up here. Oh, the scorts are down there. Okay. Now, of course, there'll be many episodes, and but I'll try to stay on point with uh, with what I'm doing. Ooh, oh shit! Well, thanks for killing that thing. No problem, butts. Hey, do you mind if I take the meat? I haven't had anything to eat in days. Yeah, you go ahead, man. I have all Thanks. kinds of meat. You don't know how hungry I am. God bless you. Roger that, bud. All right. Who's this person down here? Scavenger. Scorch is heading their way. One of my very first camps that I 
made is up on that ridge tied into that uh, pole there. Yeah, that pylon. Yeah, that was pretty good for a while. That was a long time ago before I even started making videos. Charleston Station. Nice. Let's go ahead and scrap some stuff that we might have on us. Not a whole lot, okay. I don't think we have anything to sell this guy. No, we're using pretty much everything. What do you got on you there, bot trader? No. Uh, how am I doing for my carry weight anyway? 110. All right. Um, let's put uh, this outfit. I don't really need that outfit. Oh yeah, I probably just end up scrapping it later on anyway. Oh, I do have a lot of junk on me, so let's put the um, let's put the junk in here for now. There we go. Free some stuff up. Maybe we can get some weapons and armor and sell it to that cat. What do we got in here? There we go. Take that uh, as well. There we go. <laughs> 206 caps, wow. You know how long it's been since I've had just 206 caps? <sighs> wow. Wow. All right, let's keep going here. We're almost there. Just that blue building. Oh, what's this? All right, good stuff. Sometimes there's a vendor bot that pops out of here. Again, that's like a random encounter station, so what we typically do is we go across the red bridge, stay here for about a second or two, and then walk back. Oh, who's this guy? Scavenger, okay. So I've seen super mutants there before, mongrels, robots, vendor bot, if you're lucky, an assaultron. <laughs> be careful, that guy. There's our friend that grabbed the monster down there. Sometimes there's some ghouls. Oh, Raider Scum. Then we'll leave him alone. I don't know why he's in the red. Oh. How's your head now, bud? Hmm? What's that over there? Go ahead and check that out in the map. Explore horn right, so we're gonna toggle that off, but it'll stay there as you can see. Is there anything else on the map we can do that to just to kind of clean up the main main thing here? That's it. We're gonna go to a place with some scorched. Let's see how far we can get in through here. Usually there's like one on the roof. AVR Medical Center. Nice. Some ammo here. Downstairs. Gosh, it's been forever since I've been in here. Wow. Oh. 
好。Oh, slippery little guy, isn't he? Quite slippery there. Where did the other guy go? That used to be in. <laughs> found so quickly. How do we get here? All right. Spinorama with the old hatchet. I'll let him come to us. I can't remember the last time I was even in this building. Recipe. Sure. Now, I'm not going to concern myself with picking too much stuff up. I'm more or less just focusing on the quest itself, so. But as I play, like, I'll play a little bit here and there, and and uh, I'll pick stuff as I go, and just I'm not going to bore you guys with picking a bunch of stuff up everywhere as I go. So we can go down this way. We go down the stairs. Yeah, we have to go downstairs even further, I think. No power core in there. Microscopes, sweet. Another microscope? Jeez, maybe I should bring you guys here for microscopes. <laughs> wow. I already know that, it's okay. All right, let's go ahead. Right. Optional clear Charleston train yard main gate. Collect a type T fuse. Get the blood sample from a feral ghoul. Okay. Project journal. 
I can just, you guys can go through it. I'm just going to skim through it myself, but uh, so I'm not the best <laughs> reader. Ah, oh, yes, the fire breathers, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Protect them, yeah, right on. Let's see here. Let's check the map here real quick. What's that pointing me to? T-type fuse. Enter Charleston train yard's main gate. Okay. Uh, click the sample symbol for Feral Ghoul just to our south. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do that first. We'll head back. Like that fuse. Of course, you can, wherever you see a feral ghoul, you can most certainly do it that way if you so wish. I think there's super mutants this way normally. Could be wrong. Charleston, nice. Hear him. Excavator poster. Don't bother with that. I think we have to be at least level 25 to to do that one. At least it used to be anyway. Level up, baby. Yeah. Level 21, nice. Sure, I'll pick that up. Saw something up that way. Hit this way. Walk and load. Let's go ahead, we're going to collect blood sample. There we go. Where's the other guy at? Nice. Right. Let's go ahead, we will go back to Charleston. Train yard. 
fast travel back, I think, now, if we wish, because we get that center. But we'll, uh, we'll just walk her. Enjoying this. Charleston train yard will have liberators there. Let's take these guys out. we can sell it. Some caps. gives us that option. Here's our liberators here. Charleston train yard. Nice. I can only assume that this is the main gate. Fired. here. Bicycle. Okay. Let's try this one over here to see if this is uh, main gate over here. Yeah. Nice. Shells, my dearest Nancy. I think I've ever even noticed that before. Just being up here, Go up there in that office, cripple myself jumping down here. Now there's some more guys, celebrators around. It's locked and loaded here, Jim. You see one guy in here. There's right there. It's a 
some stuff up here. Scrap it. Go. As a new player, it's always good. Because if you have items that aren't broken down, they weigh more. So once you break them down, they'll free up some, you know, some weight. In case some more stuff. You see there's a guy in here. Not here today, okay. That's fine by me. This light bulb though is good for, always down for a good light bulb. Frag steak, meat, sure. Take plot fly. Alright, T type fuse. Nice, let's go. Okay, install the T type fuse. Load blood sample into the centrifuge. Okay. Nice. Grab this other stuff here. Go out this other door. Should be just up the road. There we go. Nice. There's usually one more liberator down there somewhere. We'll leave him alone. Stuff set downstairs here. Uh, okay, place the fuse there. Nice, the old centrifuge. Centrifugal centrifuge. <laughs> Analyze the blood sample. Let's do it. Okay. Use the symptomatic to administer the vaccine. Okay. That's a nice picture. Let's do it. That little outfit looks pretty good together. That mask. There you go, 20 caps, nice. And if you're hearing this, it means you must have completed my work and inoculated yourself. The next step is to find out if our elite anti-scorched unit, the fire breathers, are still alive. You can find them at the Charleston Fire Department. The fire breathers need to know the vaccine is ready. If they didn't make it, then you're going to need their weapons to stay alive. Okay, there's into the fire. Nice. Join the responders. Nice. Fire breathers, okay. Excellent. Oh, that's been a long time since I did that bad boy. Holy mackerel. Love it, though. Totally love it. I think, uh, let's take a look here at the map. See what's popping up. Okay, join the fire breathers there, so that's nice. Get this one here. Explore the uh, Hornwright Industrial. Uh, we can head back to the Overseer. It's home. Talk to the Overseer. So let's go ahead and... Uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. How many cabs are going to be? 231. How many cabs is going to cost me? 10 cabs, that's fine. Let's head back to her and see if she has anything to add. I thought there was another quest we had to do too. Uh, before we can move on, I can't remember what it is. At some point, I head to my camp and offload this stuff. Sell some stuff. She is. The inoculation. Have you finished it? Yep. 
Good, because we're gonna need a lot more of it. Have you been to the mountains lately? It's not just us anymore. People from outside Appalachia are coming in. I snuck around two of the larger groups and saw them both building. Walls, housing, defensive positions. They're coming to stay. Each and every one of them is walking into a medical crisis they don't even know about. Okay. <laughs> Who cares? Um, yeah, why now? Okay. Um, I knew get them I inoculated. Count on you. I'll work on finding a way to make another oh, yeah, inoculation for everyone. You just get them all to agree. All right, what do we know about them? Judging by the architecture, the ones to the north are the old raider pals that crazy robot Rose keeps going on about. You might, uh, need to talk to her about them. See if she oh. can arrange a meeting. Oh, a Rose. Oh, yeah, I remember her. Is for, we need to talk, don't shoot us. The ones to the south look more like a caravan of families, but who knows what they've been through. Don't let your guard down around either of them. <laughs> Would you go inside? <laughs> Would you go yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you can count on me. Thank you. Really. It's good to have my vault family around again. Anyway, I'm sure you must have other questions. We can talk about them now if you want. Or if you're ready to head out, just. Be careful out there. Roger right, that. Okay. Here to stay. Strangers to Appalachia coming to stay. Let's go ahead and track that. Uh, strange bedfellows, raiders of Appalachia have returned. Okay. Good stuff. Let's take a look at the map here and see. Okay. Please signal strength. Strange bedfellows, okay. Uh, here to stay. Talk to the settler leader, which of course is Paige, as we all know. And that's down here. Okay. Bunch of miscellaneous popping up here as well. Turn into the top of the world radio signal. Okay. Well, that's quite uh, quite a stuff we've left to do, but again, we have uh, nothing but time. Yeah, so there you guys go. We'll kind of end the episode there. I like to kind of keep these episode anywhere, like, closer to an hour. And uh, I don't plan on making, you know, super long, unless, you know, unless we're in the middle of uh, a quest, then I'll, you know, keep going until it's done. So, yeah, so that was the first part of new arrivals in the next episode we'll have to kind of flip a coin to see which uh route route we're going to take but if my memory serves me correctly uh strange bedfellows <laughs> with rose it's uh that's that's quite a long one from what i remember there's a lot to it but uh we could definitely uh definitely check it out hope you guys enjoyed the video Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. I have to thank my channel members, Artistically Arranged, Boogaloo Bronson, Michael Edwards, Nigel Whiffin, Heather, White Tribe, Robco, Mr. Shelton, Drake Stamps. Thank you all so very much. And I hope you all have a nice day.